really know where to start. I'm going to be honest. Um, I started to daily vlog. Follow your dreams. Yeah. Welcome to another vlog. Why can't it just be a boss? Why do you have to be a girl boss? My boss just sounds more pro women. It's like a mother daughter bond, okay? She's a girl. Today, like the title says, we're gonna be cleaning my room. Fun fact. I keep snacks in my closet. I actually really enjoyed the cooking segment on yesterday's vlog. Something in my fridge is really stanking it up. The two clean living room. Need to work on that. Organized bathroom. If you sing a song, it'll boil faster, so. Fill in the pot. Fill in the pot. My name is Nicole, and I decided to vlog every single day this year. The vlog year started off as a passion project for me to challenge myself to create a new video every single day just with the creative knowledge that I have and the life experiences that I was experiencing. The main thing for me is that I really wanted to capture my senior year on camera, but unfortunately my senior year didn't go as planned. <laughs> So I obviously went to the hospital. I am human. I get upset sometimes. I get sad sometimes. I feel like the new kid at school, even though I've been going here for like three years. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm so nervous. At the beginning of the year, I got mono and I had to be sent to the hospital. Ever since then, most of the stuff that I've been doing has been just kind of going on a downhill slope. <laughs> on Friday, May 3rd, 2024, I was in a car crash. We were going on the road at 70 miles per hour and we swerved off the road and then we swerved back on the road. However, when we swerved back on the road, our car flipped three times. Everybody's alive. I was going to say nobody's seriously injured, but um, I think all of our mental states are not well. <laughs> so that's why I haven't been posting. There's a lot. There's a lot that happens. Like next week is finals week, so everything is just like, you know. I was kind of thinking about this the other day, but I was like, you know, I it's kind of a full circle moment because I couldn't go to the first week of my classes for senior year and now I can't go to the last week of my classes. I am concussed. I am traumatized. I am. It's very hard for me to go. I have actually gone to a couple classes. So with this information, it's kind of like a what do I do now situation. The vlog year. What is going to happen with the vlog year? I've been doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of asking myself what I want to do. If I'm being completely honest, I think what this kind of second chance at life has given me is the ability to say no. Making a video every day was super super fun and super super awesome until it wasn't. At times I felt very overwhelmed. At times I felt very anxious. At times I felt like I wasn't making content that I wanted to make because I just had to get a video out. There was times when I straight up did not want to post, but I forced myself to post because I made a commitment to myself to make a video every single day. More than anything, if this experience has taught me anything, it's just that I don't want to continue to daily vlog. I don't. I truly have lost sleep. I have lost precious time with friends and family. It's time consuming, you know, like the times when I put out half-assed videos just because I didn't want to edit that or that I just thought of something that day to vlog and I vlogged it. And I truly just don't know if there's a space for daily vlogging in the YouTube community anymore unless you like do something that is super superb every single day. And I'm just like a regular degular schmegular girl who has a regular degular schmegular life. I almost dreaded tomorrow's because I knew like, oh, tomorrow I have to film a video. I have to edit a video. I had fun doing the vlog year 
while it lasted. It lasted a good four months, so I'm proud of that. But I guess like, you know, how I'm talking is kind of telling you that I will no longer be daily vlogging. The vlog year is still going to stand. It's still going to stay a part of my channel for till the end of 2024. I'm proud of most of the videos that I put out this year. It's not that I need a break because to be honest, making videos is one thing that's very therapeutic for me. You know, if I'm having a bad day at work or school, I can just like turn on the camera, be goofy and silly and just have fun. I want to make content that I'm proud of. I really want to make more stuff that is more meaningful. I want to make something that's bigger than myself and not just like, oh, this is my everyday life. This is my makeup routine. This is a get ready with me. That's stuff I like to do ever so often, but I think it got, it just got tired and boring after a while. Cause I'm like, I'm doing the same thing every single day. There's nothing new. There's nothing interesting. Like I'm just a college student who has the same schedule every single day. I know this might be like disappointing to some people cause I, do genuinely know that there are so many people rooting for me during this year and so many people have commented like how inspiring this year has been for them. I'm proud of myself for what I've accomplished in these past four months. I've gained over 200 subscribers, which is something that I didn't even think was possible. I didn't even know 200 more people could subscribe to my channel. I want to make things that I am proud of. I want to make things that are meaningful to not only me, but to people. And that's not to say I'm never going to vlog again because vlogs are fun. Vlogs are so fun for me. There's going to be vlogs that maybe have taken me no time at all to make or have taken me a long time to make. With that being said, I'm changing my schedule. I'm not posting every single day anymore. I will be now moving to one of my OG schedules, posting one time a week. That day I think will be Monday, so you have that to look forward to. I'm not going anywhere, but I am changing a lot of my content and what I'm doing. I'm very inspired by people like Natalie Lynn and Wholesome Simon, Ryan Trahan, and Haley Pham. They make videos, but they make videos that are not only engaging, but tell stories they say something they really speak to me that's the kind of videos i want to make i'm living proof of setting very very high expectations for yourself and not living up to them i feel like most people will be disappointed that they like didn't live up to their expectations or didn't live up to their goals but daily vlogging isn't sustainable and i knew that I knew that going into this that like i'll probably get burnt out at one point or another and vlogging for an entire year every single day man that's gonna be difficult but i kind of accepted that challenge head on and understood that i may fail i got this far i got almost halfway through the year the thing is like i'm not giving up i'm just changing my goals my main goal with the vlog year was to just get back into youtube because youtube is my happy space i capture my memories i post my memories for everyone to see. I am allowed to be creative and do what I absolutely love to do. And I feel like for most people, YouTube is like this huge money grab and like you can create a video that goes viral and gain like thousands of dollars and whatever. But for me, it's very much the opposite. There's just so much that I feel like hasn't been accomplished on my YouTube channel that I need to accomplish and I feel like I'm not finished with everything yet. All honesty, like I fell off for a while. I fell off because I was scared of what people were going to think of me. I was scared to go back to the grind. I was scared to, I guess, be myself again on my YouTube channel and just post what I wanted to post instead of what I thought other people would like to see me post. The vlog year has rekindled my relationship with YouTube, if anything. So I'm not disappointed at all that I didn't make it the full year. I'm honestly, I'm not sad because the content I was creating at the beginning of the year and into like my first like couple weeks of the semester, I was like, wow, this is like really good. Like <laughs> she's kind of, she's kind of got it. As time went on, I felt like I was doing the same exact thing. I wasn't capturing what I wanted to capture and it just ended up being this monotonous loop of film, edit, cancel time, film, film, get ready with cancel time, edit, film, get ready with me. Edit, edit, film, film, edit, cancel time, edit, get ready with me, film, college kid. I never felt 
very stimulated by the whole process of daily vlogging and maybe some people do and that's great videos are still on my mind 24 7. i feel like youtube also can have the effect to drain you and i don't want that to happen to me i mean you're always gonna have goals in life and you might not always achieve those goals and i feel like there's things you can't control and I feel like you have to be okay with that. You just have to be true to yourself. You have to be honest with yourself. If you can't take something, if you can't do something, that doesn't mean sh that really doesn't. It doesn't mean that you're not a good person. It doesn't mean that everything you've done up until now is for nothing. It doesn't mean that you're any less of a person. You have to set boundaries for yourself and I think setting boundaries for yourself is more respectable and more badass than continuing to do something that you know is not good for you that you know is not right for you that's kind of how i feel about daily vlogging it's just not right for me just knowing that i tried my hardest and i tried my best it's literally all i could ever ask for of myself i saw a quote one day that was like if you have 100 percent one day and you give 100 percent, then you've given 100 percent but if you have 30% one day and you give 30%, that's still 100% because that's all you could give that day. I'll see you guys every single Monday. Tell someone you love them. Be kind to people. All we can do is try to make tomorrow better. And that's what I'm going to try to do. Thank you for watching. I just couldn't be more thankful. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See ya. See you tomorrow. See ya. We'll get through it. So, who knows? I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.